This video is to show you how to copy your files from an iPhone or an iPad to an external drive using the Copy That application by OWC. The process is the same for both iPad and iPhone, with the only difference being the drive connection you have. This process works with two different kinds of drives. Low-powered USB flash drives can work, though some may draw too much power to be used. A more reliable solution is a drive with its own power supply, such as the OWC Mercury Elite Pro iPad Pro users have a number of options due to the USB-C connector on that model. If you have a flash drive or external drive with a USB-C connection, you can connect directly. If you only have drives with a USB Type-A connector, you'll need an adapter such as the OWC USB-C Travel Dock that offers USB Type-A ports. With iPhones and iPads with a lightning connector, you're going to need an adapter, such as Apple's Lightning to USB camera adapter or their Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter, both of which offer a USB Type-A slot, allowing you to use a flash drive or a larger powered drive. We're going to walk you through the process with an iPhone, but the steps are the same if you have an iPad. The only difference is how the drive is physically connected to the device. We're going to use a powered drive because those are recognized most reliably by iOS devices. Some thumb drives draw too much power for some iOS devices to use. All we need to do is plug our drive into our adapter, then plug the adapter into our iPhone, which is running Copy That. We can now start the copy process. In the Copy That window, there are three sections. The first section lets you select which items from your photos library will be copied. If you select that item by touching it, you'll get several categories to choose from. You can select or deselect each category by tapping on it and click done when you're ready. Next, you need to select a destination for your files to go. If you haven't used the application before or don't have the drive you previously used attached, the selection option will be empty. Tap the option and a list of available destinations will be presented. If your drive doesn't show up in this list, verify that it's turned on and all cables are connected, then wait a few seconds. It should show in the list after a moment with a hard drive icon next to it. Tap it to choose and then click Done. The final two options are more advanced options, such as whether or not to verify the copies you made and how to handle duplicates of files already copied over. For the sake of speed, we're going to leave those alone. Now, all we have to do is click the Copy That button at the bottom and watch as the photos are transferred to the drive. Once the copy is complete, you'll get a notification letting you know it's done and that you can disconnect the drive after activity is stopped. Your photos and videos are now copied over to an external drive for all your editing and sharing needs.